Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video here comparing the iPhone 6 versus the Lumia 930 here. So to start off here with the, in terms of form factor and uh, all of those things, uh, the Lumia 930 is such a bigger device overall, almost one centimeter in thickness. I mean, it's like a major, major difference, as you can clearly see. But, uh, and this one is not as rounded off in terms of its design compared to the iPhone. So, uh, the specs wise here, uh, you do have an, I'm pretty sure like an AMOLED display here on the 930 and an IPS display here on the, um, the iPhone. Both look, of course, very, very gorgeous here. Both displays look uh, uh, very, very quality made and they're very, very high resolution display, perfect for a high-end smartphone. Uh, but this one is a little bit bigger here on the Lumia device, which is running Windows Phone 8.1 and the, the iOS or Apple iPhone here is running iOS 8.1, which is the latest version of iOS. Uh, so this one has a five inch display. This one has a 1.7 inch display. This one has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. And uh, this one, the iPhone in the stock uh, version here only has um, uh, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, you do, of course, have, here on Windows Phone have two menus, one with uh, all of your tasks and then one place here with uh, all of your your apps. And of course, you can also drag down like this. You have a multitasking area. And here on the iPhone, you do you just have the app section over here. Uh, you don't have any tasks, but you do have sort of like a way here inside of the in notification center where you can have some widgets as you see and you also have a, a control center where you have some quick toggles here which i think is a little bit more mature here uh, than uh, on the uh, lumia device here as you can see it's pretty cool could be pretty cool when things are moving around uh, but um, you do have higher pixel density here uh, you do have a 1080p display here here's a little bit lower resolution display uh, you do get a 20 megapixel camera here also on the Lumia smartphone and you also do have um, three capacitive touch buttons down here versus only one like real hardware button here uh, or yeah did you call it that I'm not sure uh, but uh, only one button down here on the iPhone a little bit more simpler <laughs> and uh, this one touch ID so you can unlock your phone um, with uh, your thumb and that's pretty cool but you don't have any back button and, and all that things so you can see here in comparison how multitasking it also looks pretty pretty similar when you have um, uh, some more apps in here open up so uh, 8 megapixel camera over here so let's see if I can find the camera app over here Camera, I think we do have a lot of different camera apps here. Camera, there we go. As you see, 20 megapixel camera, I mean, this one is a very, very good camera as well. And uh, you have, they have some pretty cool birth mode, birth mode ways here. Where it will take pictures super quick, like 10 pictures. And you can also here and go into the Nokia camera app, change it to your front facing, of course, and uh, some other photo settings in here and video settings. And then of course we do have the iPhones UI, which I think is a little bit more boring because you do have, it doesn't take use of the full display. It's like black up uh, there and down at the bottom. Uh, but a pretty good UI here is probably a little bit better where you can use the swipe. But only 8 megapixel camera, so a lot um, more low resolution over there. 
Apple A8 in here uh, versus Snapdragon 800 inside of the Lumia 930 device. Now, Snapdragon 800 is not the latest, Snapdragon 801 is out, Snapdragon 805, but there is, is like, yeah, they are a little bit faster, but overall, uh, they're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna see like a difference, like major. Uh, even with Snapdragon 805 that's coming out now on Note 4, it's like, you know, doesn't really seem to be that impressive compared to Snapdragon 800. Snapdragon 800 is still very, very good. Uh, but the quarter quarter with two gigahertz setup here instead of the Lumia device versus uh, iPhones here, dual core, but four gigahertz. Uh, but both are very, very good optimized uh, because they both, um, uh, now Microsoft, of course, owns Nokia, but they control both the, like the, uh, both controls, like the hardware experience and I was already operating system experience on these two devices. Uh, so Apple, the control, you know, with their iPhones hardware is, and also the iOS um, that they are working or doing themselves. Uh, so they have full control of their every experience. And same here with uh, this Nokia device here, Lumia. Lumia devices have their own hardware that is designed to work awesome. Uh, so you don't get like a laggy Lumia phone uh, But uh, both have good GPUs as well for gaming. So you're gonna get quality experience over there uh, with uh, a GX650 GPU here so best game experience and also high-end games on the Lumia device is also gonna work good because it is a 330 GPU which is one of the better GPUs you can get at the moment inside of a phone uh, so GTA runs well uh, and uh, you also get a bigger battery life here and you should expect that kind of on this device uh, because it is having a 2420 milliamp battery and you know it's thicker and it does have a camera button uh, which could be nice to take pictures with uh, but 2420 milliamp battery versus a 1,810 milliamp battery, which is still good for the thinness of this device to still have a battery li like that. But uh, yeah, just a quick little uh, look there at uh, the specs and some things. Both are very behind phone. I might do some testing uh, with it if people are interested. So um, yeah, have an awesome day.